Hey, hello again everyone, this is going to be round 2 of Raz Tournament, or the first best of 5 between NS and Alface. So, Alface is down 1, NS up 1, after the first round on J. This one's going to be on Warriors, picked by OVO. And OVO is going to be running a double writ frontline, so assassin, writ assassins with daggers. And NS is going to be running 6 damage hexway with a mind blast flagger. So just checking the builds. So double spirit strength, double gust on OVO. And on NS we have Crypt Slash Warrior, we've got Crippling Anguish Mesmer, we've got Cultus Fever Necro, uh, we've got a Lisa's Aura sort of Illusion Mesmer on Getting Slizzard. And we've got the prot and the heal, so boon scene on the heal monk, RC on the prot, and mind blast on the flag everywhere. Alright, this is going to be really interesting. So, this hexo build doesn't have all that much damage, it has a crazy amount of defense though, but it's only got two back lines, so we're gonna, it's going to be interesting to see how that holds up. Um, they haven't got as much hex removal as their characters would make you think. Uh, I think they've only got like two drains or yeah two drains and something on the necro so it might still be hard to remove the spruce strength from the ritualist so there's lightning touch all right OVO is starting to play quite offensive now a lot of damage coming out these rid assassins are really not hindered by the rules of the tournament much they still do a lot of damage and their skills are not nerfed Except for Fox Fangs, I think. They normally have Fox. Oh no, actually, they don't have Fox Fangs. They usually have that Deep Wounds girl. There it is, Golden Fang Strike. So a lot of damage coming out on NS. Having to pull back right now. Not able to hold this up. Oh, Matoko actually goes down though, overextending a little bit. But NS is still under huge amounts of pressure. There's the gusts coming out. There's Shield Guardian as well. So OVO is running double shield guarding, use both of them at the same time there, but a bit of a misplay I think. Taking the footman down. So NS still have the flag capped at least. Oh, actually, finish it is just return the flag of Alphys. So that's with a push up here that I missed, sorry. And this is a Crip Anguish. Crip Anguish may as well pushing this ritualist. So OVO is going to need to run the flag somehow. Uh, this Ritualist is going to have a very hard time running it through this Mesmer, probably. So it looks like NS might actually boost, but OVO don't seem to care. They're just going to push in and try and win this 7v7, which they are winning quite handedly. Oh, getting a little bit low there. So actually, we do see some good strips. Uh, this Spirit Strength is not on uh, this Red Assassin. So this is Butters and this is Matoko. There's some, a little bit of good shutdown. There we go, Necro goes down on 40-40 set. So NS really don't have all that much defense against these Rid Assassins. They have a lot of defense against Warriors uh, with you know, the Faint Heart and the Soothing Images and stuff, but against these Rid Assassins it's not quite as much defense. So NS is going to boost here. Actually no! Uh, Ovio does get the flag in a couple seconds before the boost, so they're defending with a gust alley. Defending the Crypt Anguish with a gust alley, very interesting. Looks like their writ's gonna come back now though, Ovio's writ and it's gonna defend and probably the gust will come to main team. And Ovio's pulling out because they're under a lot of pressure. This gust is doing a lot of defensive work for them. So OVO extremely low, they really need some either a lot of damage or some party heals. It looks like they're gonna get a lot of damage in, so they're gonna try and turn around and play full offensive right now. Oh wow, that's up so much damage. That's deep wound and over 200 damage in a very short period of time. So the fact that OVO is getting a lot of damage off and that NS is running into flag in means that the pressure on OVO is gonna be released, relieved and put on NS instead. So a nice flag return, so that's huge for OVO. Still have a red on the Necro. Okay, Mesma goes down. This is not looking good for NS. Yeah, NS is gonna have a very hard time coming back from this. 
they're going to be fighting a 77 in their own base. And even if they get a flag out, it's going to be a long time until they get a boost. So it's going to allow OVO to stay here for a long time, even if NS get a flag out. And long enough to score kills against just a 2 muck back line, I would assume. The Illusion Mesma getting very low, but not quite going down. So, NS is not going to run flag, they're just going to stay here and try and score some kills on OVO. They're losing the NPCs very quickly. Here goes one night. Oh, another night goes down through a lot of pros. Just goes to show how much damage these Rid Assassins can do. Uh, these Rid Assassins, a lot of their damage is armor ignoring, so they're not really boosted up by the fact that the other team won't be running much armor since you're only allowed to run survivors or radiants. So there's no plus armor insignias. So the Rits are not boosted by that, but they seem to be doing a lot of damage, having a lot of effect regardless. Yeah, OVO is just running all over NS right now. NS don't really seem to have any pressure to push back OVO. So OVO is just sitting on the heal monk now, running a flag out on Beware over there. That's the fire rally of NS, but it's going to be w way too late for this. He's actually going to go down as well. Able to be caught up to by the Gus, Ellie, and the Rid Assassin. It looks like this is going to be a win for OVO, unless Manus can pull out something really huge. Might be going for a time kill on this monk. Nope, just going to kill him. Oh, right after time, that was perfect. Absolutely perfect after time kill, not allowing the infuse or anything. And that's going to be 3 players dead after time, 4 players dead after time for NS. And that is definitely going to be game over. And OVO going to boost again in 20 seconds. Not even going to bother killing this last monk. Not got enough healing power to kill the Lord through all this damage. And just going to give up. Congratulations to OVO. So now the series is 1 1. So it's a best of three. So the next winner will go on to the winner's bracket and the loser will go to the loser's bracket. Congratulations to OVO for the win. Thanks for watching. See you next time.